Okay, so this morning, I'm running a little late, so it's 7.45 a.m. I'm going to talk to you about body neutrality while I put makeup on my face, which may or may not be like countering my own argument that I'm about to tell you, but uh, whatever. I got this yesterday. Um, I just wanted something from this collection, so I was only able to get the mini controversy palette and it finally came in. We're gonna try and create like a really new, that was weird. We're gonna try and create like a really neutral work look off of this palette. Actually, I think it'll be fine. Don't exactly know what I'm gonna do and I'm not like the best at makeup, but we'll figure it out. Let's begin, shall we? I'm not really gonna talk you through what I'm doing on my face. If you have any questions, I don't know, ask me in a comment. Because today we are talking about body neutrality. Body neutrality is this movement that says that you don't have to be like super positive and love your body all the time like body positivity set like says but instead you can just kind of be really neutral about your body about the way you, it looks and focus way more on like what it's capable of so you're really neutral about your appearance because you are so much more than your appearance you're capable of emotions and movement and strength and character and all of these things that have nothing to do with the way you're, you look and that we as people in society have been way too wrapped up in our own physical appearances and that has slowed us to put mostly as women down in society and this is my interpretation of it i'm just speaking from the heart our focus on our looks has been like keeping us holding us back from achieving our actual real potential because we are capable of so much more than focusing on our appearance to me that's what body neutrality is why is body neutrality like the like different or better than body positivity i don't necessarily know that i'm going to be able to answer that for you here in this video but body positivity was a movement created i want to say in the 60s by black fat women and it was a movement for highly marginalized bodies to ap appreciate themselves. And since it was created for that reason, it has been kind of like co-opted and rebranded as a totally different thing for the modern era. And nowadays you see body positivity touted by all kinds of people, which is great, but it definitely was taken from these highly marginalized bodies, women of color, fat women of color and and it was a way for them to reclaim that word fat and like feel good about themselves which is so powerful and now it's kind of like you see brands using the name body positivity and body positivity is now for everybody which is great like i really am appreciative of everything that body positivity has brought into my life but i can understand how that's a little problematic and i think that regardless of anyone's opinion that needs to be mentioned. It's no longer this counterculture it was always originally intended to be. And now it's like almost more of a mainstream culture. I mean, we're seeing body positivity like at American Eagle, the new face of it has kind of become like a size 12 white woman. I mean, I'm not gonna get into the politics of it too much because that's really not what I'm here to do, but it's just something really interesting to think about like where body positivity has landed. The message of body positivity is now saying that like, you are beautiful no matter what everybody every single body is worth like feeling really beautiful about and listen that's true i still f fully believe in the message of body positivity no matter how mainstream and watered down it may get there's something really powerful in finding yourself beautiful without makeup or like as a size 24 or you know like if you're disabled or even if you are like me and you live in a like pretty fucking standard, normal, culturally accepted body. Obviously, even I have issues finding myself beautiful. So having body positivity as like a coping mechanism and as a strategy and as a movement that I'm a part of to help make myself feel beautiful no matter what has been so unbelievably powerful and wonderful. But here's the thing, with so much pressure to feel beautiful and gorgeous about your body all the time sometimes it's just not realistic you know in the last couple of months i was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease and it's been weird living in this body that i feel like i've treated so wonderfully like in the past couple of years like 
you know, moving in a way that I appreciate, like feeding myself all of the yummy food. I just feel like I've really like fully nourished and treated this body with so much care. And yet here I am and now I have rheumatoid arthritis and everything hurts <laughs> all the time. And it constantly feels like my body is revolting against me and like against anything that I am doing because I'm following like every doctor's advice and like, it's just a pain in the ass. Well, it's a pain in the knees, shoulders, and elbows, but you know what I mean. And so there's a lot of people, a lot of women out there who have chronic illnesses or disabilities or whatever going on in their bodies that makes it just like, how do you love your body so fully and completely when it feels like your body is revolting against you? It's like, yeah, I'm just so body positive all the time, but am I really? And do I have to be? And I don't know, it's all crazy. And it's like, well, I'm never gonna say no, don't be fucking positive about your body because I think that's important and you are beautiful. What are they doing, leaf blowing? I live in the fucking middle of Los Angeles. What is that noise? I'm just gonna have to go over the noise because I don't have a lot of time. Then along comes body neutrality, which is this idea that, like I said, it doesn't really matter what you look like. You can be positive. You don't have to be positive about your body. You just have to be neutral about it because you as a person are so much more than your appearance and what your body looks like. You're capable of so many amazing things. And I mean, for me, I think I was like understanding body neutrality before it was even like a buzzword because I remember like way back when in like 2014 or 2013 when I was in the middle of some form of recovery for my eating disorder, I was doing like this art therapy project and I just basically was painting whatever I felt like. And I was looking for the, I was looking for my paintings because I kept some of them, but I can't find them. The one I remember the strongest is this image that I painted and that said like, your body is a vessel for your soul. And I've definitely said that before on this channel, but like that I think is in essence like the beginning of my understanding of body neutrality where it's like my body isn't this thing to be like poked and prodded at and, and shrunk down or sized up or whatever because it doesn't matter because my body is not about its appearance. My body is just literally a vessel for my soul and who I am and what I'm capable of. Not just me, all of us. And uh, I was actually talking to my friend about this Annika on Instagram. And I said, um, what you look like is so secondary to what you're capable of in this life. We get so focused on our bodies and what we've been told they should look like that we haven't been able to step up and take our equal place in society. So to me, body neutrality is liberating because it's like, F you, we have so much to contribute to this world and none of it involves what our bodies look like. And understanding body neutrality as this like idea of like understanding that it is not important what your body does, but more important what your body is capable of. I think it's easy to understand, but it's like harder to practice. Uh, like something that I sometimes think of is if I'm having a bad body image day and I just can't with body positivity that day, instead of getting down on myself, because that's never an option, uh, I just think like, okay, whatever. Don't even look at yourself in the mirror because body neutrality, like I said, has absolutely nothing to do with what you look like. So step away from that mirror because it ain't your friend today and focus on the fact that your heart is beating and that your lungs are breathing and that all your other organs are doing whatever the f they're supposed to be doing. Uh, because your body is strong, it is taking care of you, and it is making sure that you are alive, and that in itself is a goddamn miracle. And that usually perks me right the fuck up, because then I'm like, now what are you gonna do with this fucking miracle? And then I, I don't know, take a bath, get a massage. I was about to say go for a run as if I've literally ever done that. <laughs> go take a dance class, that's more accurate. You know, uh, or go to work, because that's what I usually have to do. That's how I kind of practice body neutrality on days where I'm not feeling super positive about myself. But honestly, it can work hand in hand because I can also be looking in the mirror and being like, yeah, we're gorgeous and yeah, it don't matter. We're so much more than that too. Okay, I'm getting real, real amped right now. You know, I've never used a Jeffree Star uh, eyeshadow palette. I only have his lip lipsticks. So really, it's much nicer than all the other ones I have. I haven't gotten a new eyeshadow palette in like a year though, so that might be why. Basically what it all boils down to is as positive as I may feel about my body, it's important to understand that like it doesn't, you don't have to be automatically positive with your body. It's a journey. And for some people it's gonna take a long time and that's okay. It's also okay that you're like the most body positive in the world. And sometimes you're just mad at your body. I mean, God, I was mad at my body earlier this week because I had to get some cortisone shots in my knees 
and everything and it's just been a rough week for me health wise and so it's been rough to be like yeah my body is so amazing and I love it so much when like I just really wasn't feeling that way I fully believe that like if body neutrality and body positivity and all this stuff had been introduced in like the tens or the twenties of the earliest 20th century then we would have a woman president right now because I swear to god like you know how I'm about to get on my diet culture high horse right now they're keeping us silent, keeping us quiet, keeping us distracted by making us focus on our bodies and it's bullshit. It pisses me the f right the f off. Wow, this is really pretty actually. You guys like this look? It's like super neutral. I like to do super neutral eye looks when I go to work and I'm actually loving this color combination. I just have to buff out this crease a little bit more. Let me finish getting ready and then I will uh, Come back at you at the outro and you'll be like, what? Who is that? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love the way my ass looks in these jeans. Like you guys don't even know. I finished my look. How do you like it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am by no means claiming to be good at makeup. Definitely not. But if you're curious, I used, I used cry on my couch underneath my brow bone, my boyfriend's purse on the lid and diet root beer in the crease. Anyway, thanks you guys so much for watching this video. Sorry if it was a little jumbled and manic. I didn't really honestly plan anything to say because I figured I understood body neutrality well enough to just talk from the heart. So hopefully you guys liked it and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye. Oh, uh, subscribe and like this video, please. I feel like I'm doing so good on this channel. I would love to hit 10,000 subscribers by my birthday, which is next May. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be putting this out there, but I'm all about manifesting now. So I'm manifesting that goal for myself anyway. Subscribe if you haven't already, like this video, and I'll see you next week. Bye.